In this video, I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can use the MakerPipe four-way connector. If you have no idea what MakerPipe or four-way connector is, basically, we manufacture pipe clamps for building things with off-the-shelf electrical conduit, and one of the connectors in our building system is the four-way connector. And we recently updated the connector overview and assembly video. You can check that out to learn more about it. And uh, alongside the new videos that we're doing for each connector, we wanna do a roundup to basically show you guys some different ways that you can use them, and we're gonna check out community builds uh, that utilize the connector, and you'll see how you can use them in your own project. So that's what we're doing today. And first, we've got a build. This comes from Ronald and this is a really awesome this is uh, this takes truck bed to a whole new meeting because this is a bed for camping that he built that sits in his truck bed which is really cool and uh, really funny but basically this is this is not really the way we normally see the, the four connector the four-way connector used but uh, it's, it's because it's kind of in a, a, an orientation on its side we'll look at more common uses here in a moment but basically, as you can see, it joins four pieces of conduit together. You have one that runs continuously through it. And basically, this could be on uh, you know, any part of this, this span here because uh, you know, this middle piece is made to run through the piece uh, or through the middle of the connector. And then there's three other pieces of conduit that terminate inside of the connector uh, that kind of stop inside there. You don't have to do any drilling whenever you're building with maker pipe connectors. Uh, it's all clamp based and it relies on friction. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you're building something. But basically this is used uh, in a different way than we normally, normally see it, like I said. This is kind of flipped over on its side to take advantage of the amount of pipes that can be joined all together, which is four, but then it keeps this horizontal span one continuous piece that goes all the way through it. And then they kind of take advantage of that again using the 90 degree connector down here, uh, but we'll save that for another video. But basically this is, uh, like I said, not usually how we see it, but something to keep in mind and something that you can incorporate in your build. Uh, I've seen somebody do this similarly where they had a garden structure and they wanted to kind of separate the top half from the bottom. So they used this connector in this way where the vertical went up a few feet, probably like six, eight feet, and they had this on top. And then they actually arched out of the connector up here uh, to kind of finish making a greenhouse and a trellis. So that was really cool. And, and just a, a way that you can use this, that's to, to keep in mind. That's really cool build. Thanks so much, uh, Ronald, for sharing this. Love seeing it. And then here we can kind of see this is a more common way that we see this connector used where basically you have that through piece of conduit that runs through the middle of the connector. And then if you're building something that's, you know, five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, or however long you want it to be, you can basically build forever if you break up a long horizontal span. So conduit, you know, it's made for electrical work, not really building things. Uh, that's why we made the connectors. So you could build strong projects, but if you tried to have a 10 or 20 foot span, that's just one continuous piece, it's not going to work out so well. Conduit's going to flex and bend. So you want to break that span up. And the four-way connector is how you can do that really easily because basically the way this connector is designed, you can add a vertical support. So you've got this vertical support going through it. And then you break up this horizontal span there, as you can see, that's what the that's what the span would look like, uh, you know, if it was continuous. But instead, it's terminating inside the connector, and then uh, you can also brace to the other side, which is the pipe that comes out of the front of the connector. There, as you can see, so it has those three pipes that terminate, and then the one that runs through the middle. And this is the most common way that we see this connector used. This is a great shade from Peter. We can also see it used in this storage build build from David, uh, where basically he's got you know. Quite quite the, the shelving unit here to hold plants and all kinds of stuff. But if you look closely, you can see the four-way connector is used up here in this way where he's breaking up this horizontal span, you know, something like a shelf. you got totes up here. Actually, it looks like a, <laughs> the lid of a cat litter box. But, you know, you've got totes up here, and this is going to have heavy stuff, Christmas decorations. If you just had this long horizontal span from the edge uh, over here all the way to the other side, that's going to be a long unsupported span. Uh, but instead, he broke up the, the span 
by adding the four-way connector here, which again breaks up this horizontal pipe here and here, and then has the brace going to the other side, and then of course the brace or, or the vertical support that goes all the way down to the ground, uh, which is a great way to use this and reinforce your build so you can add some more strength and support if you've got totes or whatever it is on your storage shelf that you're you know wanting to kind of put on this, you can add a support. We see this commonly used uh, with hydroponic or aquaponic stands where you've got some uh, hydroponic growing trays, uh, and basically you can use like I said, you could just basically add four-way connectors every five feet and continue a build forever and ever and ever, which is really cool. And this is really the most common way that we see it. Here's another great build. This comes from Lawrence. And here's another great example of how this is used. They've got a plant sunshade here where basically, you know, this long horizontal span, this looks like it might be even over 10 feet, but you try to have that uh, from one side to the other, it's not going to go well. You're going to have some sag in the pipe, and it's just really not going to work out well for you. So you want to break up those, those long spans, and the four-way connector is a really great option for that because it adds that vertical support, which, of course, you know, really is the main support for it. But then also connects a pipe to the other side and, of course, you know, breaks this up into two pieces. And it's a really great thing, too, because, you know, you can get conduit in five or 10 foot sections. So if you need like a 30 or 40 foot long build, uh, the four way connector is great for extending that 10 foot span that you buy. And you can just, you know, keep it 10 foot if you want and just keep adding sections to get the length that you're after. Um, or you can break it up and do odd dimensions. Uh, and that's actually a, a good segue here. In this build, we can see from Grant, he built this packing station and his looks to be pretty well dead center. But you can imagine if you wanted to customize, you have a desk and you want, you know, a shelf over here that uh, has your, you know, computer on it or something. Uh, basically, you could move this, the four-way connector, anywhere along this horizontal span and you could break up the span and still add the support that you need for the shelving unit. And in a build like this where they're, they're going to be putting, I think this was a machine shop uh, that Grant uh, is, is an owner of or works at. And, you know, if you're working in a machine shop, you're going to have large metal objects and they're going to be heavy. So this four-way connector adding the support right in the middle of the frame, also adding the brace from one side uh, of the, uh, or, you know, from the middle to the sides, and then, of course, that vertical support. And then he's got the shelf down here mounted uh, and attached to this vertical support just to be able to add some more storage for shipping supplies down here. And uh, like I said, you could customize the dimensions and offset this. Maybe you do like a three-foot section where you have shelves and you have a seven-foot open space so you can roll up a chair underneath or store bigger boxes and whatever it may be on the left side. So a lot of ways you can use this, but this is a really versatile connector and is really useful for those builds that you're extending and bracing and, uh, you know, kind of utilizing some long spans that you want to brace. So really cool. Thanks, everybody, for sharing these builds. Uh, if you want to check out the overview and assembly video, I'll link it down below so you can learn more about this connector specifically and be sure to check out the makerpipe.com website to check out all the connectors and accessories and things that we offer for building things with electrical conduit. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next video.